Hey everybody, Josh here. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a really visually appealing portfolio on GitHub that you can put on your resume. And I know I said GitHub, but don't worry because you don't need to know any coding for what we're about to do. Having a good portfolio is really, really, really important for if you want to break into IT or cybersecurity or tech in general, especially for those who don't actually have any experience in the field, having a really nice, easy to look at portfolio will kind of make up for your lack of experience. So it's really important. It, it doesn't really require a lot of effort either. So if you're looking to get into IT, cybersecurity, or even be a developer, definitely watch this video. It's going to be some of the best time you've ever spent. And I do want to say I made a new end screen. So if you happen to make it that far, can you check it out and let me know what you think about it in the comment section? I'm open to any criticism you might have. Also, this video is sponsored by Webull, where you can get literal actual free money. But I will kind of talk about that a little bit later. So getting right into the content of this video, this video is kind of designed to be used in conjunction with these other videos, like how to get into cybersecurity or how to get into IT or kind of what I would do as a new person trying to get into IT. Just something to keep in mind, maybe check out those videos after this one. So basically what we're going to do in this video, we're going to create a GitHub account. We're going to create one repository, which is going to kind of be our main portfolio page. And then we're going to create two more repositories, which are going to act as our two little sample projects. So before we actually jump into making the portfolio, I'll kind of show you what my actual like, production portfolio looks like. Uh, so you have an idea idea of what we're going to create. We're basically going to copy mine and then kind of retrofit it to make it make sense and like make it your own. Here's pretty much what my portfolio looks like. I use this recently. I applied to a bunch of jobs and I interviewed a bunch of places, including Google, Amazon, Tenable, and Microsoft, which is where I work now. And this is the portfolio I use for all of those things. This is what we're going to make for you, um, but we're going to kind of change it a little bit so it makes sense specific to you and specific to the pro the projects that you might be making. So pretty much just like an intro, intro my name is Josh, whatever you wanted to say. For me, I have like this section for software development projects, but maybe yours will be like cybersecurity projects or like general IT projects or something like this. And for me, I have a, I have a section for YouTube videos. So what I would recommend for you is after you create projects, maybe just make some, you know, mediocre YouTubes, whatever, just kind of explaining what your project is and upload it. And then just so you can have like a little space like this to kind of put some videos if you want. You don't have to do this, but I'd kind of recommend it. Basically, you can click on these individual links and they'll go to like separate repositories and then it will kind of show the project and what you did and like different technology that you used and it will have like little screenshots um, of whatever your project happens to be and you don't have to use code again it can be something you set up and we can just take pictures and explain it that kind of thing um, so you don't necessarily always have to put code in github it's just for pretty much anything so before we actually get into building the portfolio, as promised, I need to tell you how to get some free money. If you use the link in the description to sign up for Webull, you'll automatically get two free stocks. And then once you fund your account with at least one cent, you'll get three more stocks for a total of five free stocks valued up to $3,000. And at the very minimum you can get from this is $27. And that is equal to about 12 cheeseburgers from McDonald's. So absolutely use the link to get your free stocks. Okay. So the first thing you're going to do is go to github.com and you're just going to go ahead and, and sign up and create your own account. I already did this, so I'm not going to do it again, but just click sign up and sign up for it essentially. And once you get logged in, it's going to look something like this. It's totally blank, no repositories or anything. So the first thing we're going to do is kind of create your sample landing page that this page in particular, it's going to look something like this. I'll put the link to my main profile page in, in the description. So go ahead and click on that. And then you should land on a page that looks something like this. And then we're going to just click raw. This is the easiest way to do it. So just click raw. And then this is basically the markdown code for my main GitHub profile page. So we'll just copy select all of this, just copy it, go back to your GitHub, and then we're going to create a repository. And then for your repository name, make sure you name this whatever this is right here. So for example, mine is Josh Cybertest. So I'm just going to type Josh Cybertest. And then you'll see like once you type this, it's like, oh, this is a special repository that you can use to add a readme and it will kind of serve as your main profile page. So just type the same repo name here and scroll down. And we want to add a readme file for sure. So check that and then click create repository repository. And then it's going to create your very first repository, which we're going to use as your kind of main landing profile page. So once you get here, click this edit button, and then you're just going to just erase everything. And then you're just going to paste the code that you copied from my markdown page. So once that's pasted, you can 
kind of switch between this preview and edit to kind of see what it's actually going to look like when you when you publish it. So here, all you have to do is just go to edit and then kind of edit this to where it makes sense for you and the projects that you're thinking about making. So for example, you can keep this stuff here if you want, um, or you can just leave one. I'm just going to erase everything and then say, I'll pretend I'm trying to get into cybersecurity. So instead of software, I'll just say like, you know, cybersecurity projects. And then I'll just click preview, see how it looks. Hi, I'm Timmy. My cybersecurity projects looks good. So maybe I'll just delete all of these, maybe except for I'll keep this. And maybe for this project, we're going to say we created an Active Directory lab, right? So I'll just rename this Active Directory Home Lab. And this corresponds to this video. So you, if you actually want to watch this video and make this lab, you can. And then this will be like whatever the repo is. We'll come back and change this later, but we'll change this to like whatever the actual repo URL is when, when we create it. So we'll come back and fix this later. We'll take a look at how this looks. My cybersecurity projects looks pretty good. Maybe you want to keep this YouTube section and we'll just add a video for, you know, our Active Directory home lab. So maybe we'll say our popular videos will say like, we'll pretend you're going to upload a video to YouTube Active Directory home lab. Maybe maybe you're going to make this a tu tutorial, right? And then of course, you would change this URL to whatever your YouTube video URL is. And then maybe maybe you want to add a section, maybe you just got you know, Google IT support professional certification, and you want to like add something that talks about that. And you can, you can definitely do that to your portfolio. So we'll make a section for certifications. And then of course, maybe you would upload a picture to it or something like this, and then just put the link to the actual certification here. So I'll just take a look at to see how this looks so far. Hi, I'm Timmy, my cybersecurity projects, we only have one in here, my certifications, popular YouTube videos connect with me, it looks pretty good so far. Maybe I'll just add one more project just for the heck of it. I'll just do like a hello world project say maybe we're doing like a, tu a coding tutorial or something like this. And we make a hello world project. So we'll look at this one last time looks looks pretty decent. So we're just going to scroll down and say commit changes. Cool. And then we can click our kind of main profile page here. So we'll click this looks pretty decent so far. So maybe maybe I want to like change the avatar so you can add a picture to make it look really decent. It's up to you like what kind of picture you put in here, I might do something slightly professional, but I don't know, I'm just gonna pick like a random thumbnail from one of my from my other channel, I'll just do this of course, fill it out for bio, maybe you want to put like what you're trying to get into like, you know, cyber security analyst, something like this, maybe put the URL to your YouTube channel or to your LinkedIn, something like this, it's pretty much up to you, Twitter, username, company, location. If you want to put that you can and we'll just update this. And then we'll go back to our profile kind of look at it one more time. A lot of the time it takes some time for your picture to update here. So like don't don't really worry about that. So this looks pretty decent so far. But the only problem is like these kind of links point to like my actual projects. So what we what we're going to do next is create actual projects like inside of your GitHub account and then as repositories and then we'll kind of link them to your main profile page. So again, I'll just go to I'll go to my profile. I'll, I'll put a link in the description for this. So I'll just take this, I'll just take this project of mine, for example, again, this link will be in the description. So when you click the link in the description, it will come to a page that looks kind of like this, there'll be like a couple files here. One is like the code for my project, it's just a simple PowerShell. And then this other one is the readme. This is the one that's going to like look fancy, you know, and kind of talk about what your project is. So basically, to copy this, um, what we're going to do is we're going to click on the readme file here. And then we'll go down to raw here, again, pretty much the same thing as last time, we'll just copy this whole thing. And then we'll go to we'll go back to your GitHub. And then we're going to go to repositories, you only have one right now, which is your kind of your main profile page. So we'll click here. And then we're going to say new or new repository. And then whatever you want to name this one, whatever the project is that you're making. Um, so say, say you're gonna, you know, watch this active directory tutorial, and then make a repository in your GitHub talking about like what you did, essentially, maybe we want we want to name it like active directory uh, lab or something like this. By the way, this can be for like any project. If you do like a coding tutorial online or something, you can make projects for literally anything. So we'll scroll down, scroll down, we'll say add a readme, and then we'll say create repo, create repository. And then again, here's our readme, we'll just click this thing here to edit. And then I'm going to just erase everything in here and just paste the readme stuff I copied from my repository. And then we can go up here to preview again, like before, and then we can just kind of look at it. And then we can change the thing. So it totally like matches our own project, we'll just go to edit and we'll just kind of update it to match what we want to do. So say that we want to, you know, do the Active Directory home lab, and we want to talk about that. 
So here I might change this to Active Directory Home Lab, something like this. And then YouTube demonstration, maybe you want to take a video of it on YouTube, upload it to YouTube, and then you can have a link here. And the description, I'll just delete this, and then I'll go to the actual video that this is referring to. And I'm just going to copy this description just for the heck of it. I'll just paste this in here, and I'll check preview again. It's coming together nicely, Active Directory Home Lab description. Maybe we'll say like in this lab instead of this video. So in this lab, blah, blah, blah. And then languages and utilities use. I mean, you can make, these are just arbitrary sections. You can make up your own sections if you want. So we can go back to preview, kind of look at it. This looks good, looks good, looks good. Program walkthrough. Here's where you would kind of take screenshots as you did your little project and kind of describe what you were doing, whether it's a tutorial or whatever you're trying to do. Just take a bunch of screenshots and text and kind of put them in here. So I'll kind of show you how that would go normally. So we'll go back to edit file. And then, so for example, if I go back to this YouTube video, in this particular portion of the video, we're essentially like adding a bunch of users in Active Directory with PowerShell. So maybe I would, I'll like copy this and make like a little screenshot of it. So I'll like, for example, just for the example of this video, I'll copy this, I'll go to imager and then I'll go to new post, and then I'll just like paste it, paste the image and then we'll click this. So I'll copy the image address to this and go to it just to make sure it works and it does. So going back to our GitHub, so this, we can see this here, like launch the utility and there's a picture right after it that corresponds to, if we scroll down, launch the utility and there's a picture here. So I'll just like update this picture, launch the utility. I'll just update this like URL, right? With the picture we just uploaded to Imager, just update this. And then for example, this is saying like, you know, creating users with PowerShell. Obviously you want to make this like make sense for the project that you're doing but this is just an example so i'll just like erase the rest of these like little pictures as you can see you, you can just post like more as many pictures as you want as many descriptions as you want and it should kind of make sense like you don't really have to know what this like markup is doing you can kind of like look back and forth between the preview and the edit file and it will kind of like make intuitive sense to you or it should hopefully so i'll go to preview i'll look at this looks pretty good creating users with powershell here's a little picture of it and I messed up here. So let's go back and fix that. So scroll down. Cool. This looks good. So if you wanted to do more, obviously you could just like do something like this and just change the text and in, in the image, you know, as it makes sense, go back to preview. And then we can kind of see a couple descriptions, a couple of pictures and it looks cool. It looks pretty good for the most part and makes sense. So we'll just scroll down to this. We'll say commit changes. And then if we go back to this kind of Active Directory home lab, this is like the URL for our, our Active Directory project, I guess that we just made. We can kind of see all the files that are associated with it, this MD file, which is the readme markdown file. And then you can kind of see the whole project that we made here. So obviously you'd put stuff in here that makes sense, but this is just an example. And of course, if you use like some code or some like little extra files for your project, you can always just go to add file, upload files, and then you can just upload the files like straight into the project. So I'll just go back to the project here. We're going to take this and then update the link on our kind of main profile homepage in our on our portfolio. So we'll, we'll copy this link up here and then we'll click here to kind of go back to our main portfolio. And here's the links to our projects. And you notice like right now, if you if you click this, it will it just goes to like some random thing. So we're going to update this link. So it actually goes to the project that we just made. So we'll, we'll edit this readme MD again. We'll find this Active Directory Home Lab. And then all we got to do is just paste the URL to the repository we just made and then should be good to go. And I'll just like pretend this is something else, but I'll paste the same URL here. So then just scroll down and then say commit changes. And then we click up here to like our main portfolio link. And then here we are. This is our GitHub portfolio it says, Hey, I'm Timmy, your projects laid out here really nicely. Your certifications laid out here really nicely. Some YouTube videos where people can kind of look at and see you demoing your projects. It's really nice and really clean. And this is like way better to look at than just like a bunch of like random repositories and code everywhere, honestly. And if you scroll down a little bit, you can see like um, a list of your repositories and this little grid thing down here, this just shows how often you make changes and like submit and commit things to your GitHub. So for example, my production one looks like this. Like here, I was like doing like a lot of algorithm practice, for instance. But I mean, you don't have to care about it too much, but that's just what that is. I want to give a huge shout out and a huge thank you to all my patrons. Thank you so much for supporting me and the channel. I really appreciate it a lot. I do have another channel for fun. All I'm doing on that channel is buying cryptocurrency and like talking about my trades. I'm not giving advice or anything. I'm just like buying crypto and making content out of it. So if you're interested in that, check out that channel as well. I do have an Instagram. I try to post on there a little bit more. So follow me on there if you want. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing, I'm trying to get to 50K subs, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.